Welcome back children. Let's discuss question and answers of lesson number 6, Substances in Daily Use. Fill in the blanks using proper words. Rubber made by vulcanization is a man-made material. Man-made materials are made by processing natural materials. Nylon thread was developed simultaneously in New York and London. Rayon is also known as synthetic silk. Answer the following questions. A. Why did the need for man-made materials arise? The answer is, for several years, humans have been dependent on natural materials to meet their demands. However, there has been a shift towards the use of man-made materials as well. Increasing population, deforestation and limited natural resources are some of the reasons due to which the need for man-made material arised. Another reason which led to the increase in the use of man-made material was to get a comfortable lifestyle. B. Which are the natural materials obtained from plants and animals? Divide the page into two parts. On one side, write down sources. Another side, write down natural material. Plants as a sources, natural material from plants, what we get is wood, rubber, cotton. Animal is the source. And what natural material we get? Fur, leather, silk. C. What is vulcanization? Vulcanization is the process carried out for the production of rubber. In this process, raw rubber is heated with a mixture of sulfur and an appropriate additive at a temperature range of 61.85 Celsius to 141 degree Celsius for 3 to 4 hours. Sulfur is added to give toughness to rubber. D. Which natural materials are used to obtain fibers? Natural materials are obtained from plants and animals are used to obtain fibers. For example, wood and silk are natural materials of animal origin which are used for obtaining fibers. Wool is obtained from the fleece that is hair of sheep or yak. And silk is obtained from the cocoons of a silk moth. Cotton and jute are examples of natural materials of plant origin, which are used for obtaining fibers. Question number three. What are we used for? A. Soil. B. Wood. C. Nylon. D. Paper. E. Rubber. A. Soil. It is used in construction, pottery, medicine and cosmetics. Wood. It is used in making furnitures as a source of fuel, utensils, hand tools, musical instruments, wooden toys, etc. Nylon. It is used in making canopies of parachutes, tents, sleeping bags, sails, rope, tennis strings, fishing poles and lines, cookware, etc. Paper. It is used in making bags, envelopes, notebooks, packing purpose, etc. Rubber. Is used to make balloons, erasers, rubber toys, rubber balls, etc. Question number four. How is paper manufactured? Write in your own words. Paper is manufactured by the following process. Logs of wood are made to pass through a debarker where the barks of the tree are separated. Then the wood is chopped into small pieces and is mixed with some chemicals 
and water in digester for the formation of the pulp. The obtained pulp is washed, refined and sometimes even bleached. The pulp is made to travel down the screen to remove excess of water and then to the rollers where it is being dried and squeezed between large rollers to form rolls of paper. Question number 5. Give scientific reasons. We must use cotton clothes in summer. We must use cotton clothes in summers because they protect us from the heat of the sun. They absorb sweat and help keep our bodies cool. The pores in cotton clothes allow the free movement of air which helps cool our bodies. B. We must observe economy in the use of the materials. We must observe economy in the use of materials because they directly or indirectly affect our environment. Most of the natural materials which we obtain from our environment are exhaustible, non-renewable resources. That is, once these resources are finished, they cannot be renewed again or even if they can, it would take several years to do so. For example, our forest from where we obtain wood are precious resources because once a forest is destroyed, it would take several years to renew that forest. Also, destroying the forest for our needs affects the habitat of several other species of organisms and plants. The man-made materials which we use are largely non-degradable, for example, plastic, etc. Increased use of man-made materials pose a threat to the environment because their disposal is not easy and leads to environmental pollution. These examples state the importance of judicious use of both natural and man-made materials. We, saving paper is the need of the hour. Question number C. We very well know that paper is obtained from trees. Trees are important resources because they not only provide us with wood or paper but are also a habitat for various organisms. They are important in maintaining the climate as well. The more paper we use or waste, the more number of trees will have to be cut down for this purpose. Thus leading to a various kind of harmful effect on our environment. We should make a genuine effort in saving papers by adopting small steps which can make a huge difference. Man-made materials have more demand. Next question. So let's see what is the scientific reason. Man-made materials have more demand because of their characteristics like easy to use, low cost of production, cheaper products and variety of things which can be made from them. Humus is a natural material. What is the scientific reason behind it? Humus is a natural material. Because its formation is a natural process. It is the dark colored layer of topsoil that is rich in nutrients. The decomposers convert the dead plants and animals into humus that is utilized by the plants. It increases the fertility of the soil. Question number six. Find out how is lark obtained from nature? Lark is a natural resin and is a product of animal origin. It is secreted by an insect known as lac insect. In order to obtain lac, these insects are cultured and the technique is called lac culture. Lac culture requires proper care of host plants, regular pruning of host plants, propagation, collection and proper care of host plants, regular pruning of host plants, propagation and collection and processing of lac. The lac insect lives as a parasite Feeding on the sap of certain trees and shrubs, lac secretion begins as soon as the larva of the insect settles on the plant. Initially, lac has shining appearance, but later on its turn harder on coming in contact with air. This lac is then collected and used for making jewelry etc. 
Second question is, how are pearls obtained? Pearls are precious jewels and the only gems created by living animal. They are formed when a microscopic foreign object finds its way inside a muzzle or oyster. The animal coats the object with a substance called nacre. With time, several layers of nacre build up over the foreign material and thus leading to the formation of a pearl. These oysters, muzzles are collected from the sea and open to collect these pearls. Stay safe. Thank you so much.